Casco de-icers protect your valuable shoreline property by creating an ice-free area around boats, docks, and other in-water structures. The area of open water created by your de-icer also promotes oxygenation, which benefits fish and other aquatic species through the harshest winter months. This video will guide you through the factors you'll need to consider as you decide the best location, angle, and depth for your de-icer and provide some tips for making the most of the environment in which your de-icer is operating. De-icers work by pushing warmer water up from deeper areas, creating an open area at the surface. Position your de-icer towards the end of a shoreline structure to create a buffer of open water between it and the expanding ice pack. Place the unit in a more central location in order to prevent ice lifting. This occurs when ice forms around structures such as pilings and then moves or raises them as the water level fluctuates. Fully protecting a large boat or dock often requires more than one de-icer. The location you choose will also determine the method which you use to suspend the de-icer in water. You can easily sling the de-icer from a boat, pilings, or other available structure using the two pre-attached mooring lines. Casco also offers secure dock mounts, which can provide you more targeted angling options for your installation. Next, you'll want to think about the direction of the de-icer's flow, which will be determined by the angle of the unit in the water. Casco's dock mounts offer a variety of angling options. For more information, take a look at the owner's manuals on our website for our universal and industrial mounting kits. If you are using mooring lines to sling the de-icer, this will mean a largely vertical flow, but you can also create a slight angle by weaving one rope through the cage wires to move the point of suspension slightly up from center. If you choose this method, don't loop the rope through more than four wires. As you decide how to angle your de-icer, work with, not against, the natural movement of the water as much as possible. Finally, you'll need to determine how deep to install your Casco de-icer. A good guide is to place the unit four to six feet deep for vertical installation and slightly shallower for angled operation. In colder climates, moving warmer water is more important than surface circulation so you may wish to install your de-icer slightly deeper. You'll always want to keep the de-icer at least one foot off the bottom to prevent clogging from debris. As always, move warmer water into the targeted area by angling your de-icer from deeper water towards shallower water. Install the de-icer on the upstream side of the target area and angle toward the downstream side. If you are installing more than one de-icer, angle all of the units in the same direction to create a localized current. When de-icing around a boat, use its design to push the water from bow to stern. In tidal waters, position the de-icer so that it is in shallow water at low tide and deep water at high tide. If you are de-icing a boat in an area like this, tie the unit so that the boat and the de-icer rise and fall together with the tide. Once the de-icer is in the water, connect it to your Casco control panel for thermostat or timer control, and know that your property is protected from ice damage all winter long. If you have any issues, please give us a call at 715-262-4488, and the best customer experience team in the world will be able to help. Casco, moving water forward since 1968.